Monday morning. Uh, just got the car. Go the other side of the Land Rover, boy. Thing. <laughs> Looking for where's your car for number 23? You got near take with it. See it's fed off the front one again. So we're gonna go around and find cars. Look at that, look, that red thing. My oh, numpty son's gone and brought his red. I can only buy a blue one. I thought we bled blue at this farm. So his weekly, his annual sort of bonus money, I suppose, if you put it that way. That's his, that's his spending, yeah. So it shows you how um, keen these youngsters when they want to come into the farm. He could have gone and bought himself a car. That, there he is. There he is. Yeah, show off now. No one can receive me. That's a full air cut that is, you can't drive a massive with air cut like that. Well, going across there, I wouldn't be able to sit on the seat of one of your tracks. Ah, uh, so, there you go. You like it? Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah? I'm not going to let you drive it though. You're not going to let me drive it? Well, I see how you drag it. Yeah, you see how? <laughs> well, let's get this fence back up. Good cows are there. They should be there. But they went there. Never mind, we'll move them. Cut off all tags. Got points. Car foot was born yesterday, bright red one. That's a typical fucking car, it's been a long time, but we will look for it. Hopefully, find it. Hopefully, nothing stupid has happened. So, these cows will want to go a different way than what they're used to. So, we're just moving these along. There's not a lot of grass about, as you can see. We're trying to only keep them on a place for a couple of days. And then move them. It's not ideal if you want to be longer between moves, but at the minute they're on hay. We just want to keep them, keep them rotating. Surely it's got to be a bit better for the grass than just leaving them on the field. The grass at least a three or four days of not having this amount of cows on it. As it starts growing, it feels warm today, and I think we've got 15 coming this week. So, once we get them type of temperatures, we'll be able to give them a little bit. And we're saving a couple of areas where they haven't been. So, when it does warm up, that'll grow quicker, and then we can rest these bits a little bit longer. I think the hooter will last too long. I know there's a crossing coming up. And our sheep, look, still got our rogue sheep. We've got a rogue pig in the barn. <laughs> sheep just got told off for overtaking the cow. Uh, we'll to come forward a little bit. We, what we said in earlier videos, you just get on their flanks, and me driving on their left flank should encourage them to stay to the right. Steady! So now we stop. So, don't want to push the cow any harder than you have to. So they'll gradually cross there. They know the crossing. Just like that. I haven't been on there for 10 days. So there'll be 10 days worth of grass on that bit. And there they are, straight away start munching. Catch up with get him to check. Dive all the way back. got its calf. We've got to check all the ditches. I'll go round this way, you go back down here. 
Yeah, but I can't look over the left hand side, can I? Yeah. Just in case the gas falling in there. But anyway, let's go and have a look. So we'll do a quick look around, but to be honest, we'll do very well to see one, but if we quickly spot it, then we'll um, get it up and move it back to its mum. But if we don't, then we'll probably chase the mum out of the field, because she'll know where it is. They know where they left their baby, or roughly where their baby is, but at least get us something. I don't want to drive here, look. Too close to the edge, because I could drive over the calf. Starlings there, look, pecking away. Didn't even move when I drove past. So yeah, so we'll get to the point where we'll let the mum out and um, see where the mum's looking and then we'll start walking that area because it was a good calf. We see it last night, this is about lunchtime now. Haven't seen it yet this morning. Um, so we'd like to see it, we'd like to see him for the first week. And then if we don't, and then if we miss them for a day, we generally, they're good strong calves, we're not generally too worried. We try and see them every single day, but come down here and look and not find one just laying in a little bit of brush or on the edge of a dike or you can you can not more just drive over them and not spot them so but this is our our attempt now and then we'll we'll see so Bert's got out here it is look hey, hey. just found it and we'll get back with mum bloody things I'm on and even a haystack Up and running, that's how we like to see. Well done. Burton up too wide, just taking it in stride. Spotted that a long way off, I because he drove across the field. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, three, 
six, nine, twelve, fifteen piglets, maybe. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. And look at that, people. Just uh, I've done that, and I haven't been to a feed mill. So, yeah. So that's straight food off of the farm. Dead one there, you get a few dead ones. So 17, and oh, maybe a dead one or two more in there. So 17 piglets, but now I know that these, that's too much for her. She probably hasn't even got 17 teats. There's another one there, so there's 18. 18 piglets. Having a busy week with births at the farm. This uh, here had 18, 16 live on there. Uh, it's a couple of little weaky ones, but she should probably lay on a few. I'd be shocked if she rears 16. Just look at them. Look. Just a quick note, we've done that without going to the feed mill, so this is all homegrown. On the farm that she's eaten, no chemicals, no fertilizers, no nothing. I suppose if she was indoors in a proper farrowing arc, we'd rear all 18. I think she's only got 15, I think she's only got either 13 or 15 teats. She's got one blind one. She's an old sound now. Look at that, spotty Gloucesters. Quick calf update, Let's start with a nibble on the creep. You can see the empty troughs. <coughs> it's taken them nearly all week to eat a bucket full, eh? And they're doing pretty well, apart from the tear there, the blue one. And it just shows you really the importance of the uptake of colostrum quickly. The mother, and probably our management, that hadn't happened. Um, whether she'll survive or not, I don't know. Look at some of these. They've lost the shine where they've come off the milk and gone into powder stuff. A bit mucky this morning. We straw them up most days or every other day. I don't know. I think I can see some of these growing in front of me. So it'll be three weeks this weekend. We've dropped back. We was going to drop back to once a day milk but you know we decided not to I think I think for the benefits of these slightly smaller ones what we really should do is take some of these bigger ones but they're only a few days older so we could pen up them up separately and obviously you get something like the dairy one it's just skinny which is dairy heifer so that is really what her frame is going to be through life just a skinny old thing another one there look then you look at the Hereford cross, look at the width and that on him. Yes, oh boy, yes, yes, and there's a dairy bull calf, not one we're keeping the nuts on, this is the one. I think that's a bull calf. Yeah, but he's got nuts, he's the one we're keeping. Entire, just hope it don't turn into be a devil. What we have to do? Look at that, is that a wagyu? Or is that a dairy? Don't know, something. One behind it, one behind it's a Hereford, so that's probably a Wagyu. There's two black ones in here, and I have one there, so I'm wondering if that's the Wagyu. And, uh, yeah, he's got nuts, so he's a dairy. There, yeah, one just come out black, and she's the Wagyu, slightly brown. I think she's a dairy. You can see the difference in the shape, but just, um, just a bit more pinched. There's a Wagyu there, just a little bit of shape to it. Wow, lovely set of calves. Look at that. My hands are a good size and there's a good bit of back on them already. Even that dairy one, look. So they're doing well. I wonder what that is, look, with a little bit of white on its back. 
Bit very small. I wonder what type of car that is. Funny looking shape, isn't it? Coming there to the right as well. I wonder what that is. Hello, mummy pig. How are you doing? Yes. A bit of grub. How are we getting on in there? Right, I can see four, five, six. I presume there's more in there. Let's we go and have a look. Nice and spotty, just the way we like them. See 13, but they could easily be a couple under the bottom of that pile, couldn't they? Hey, scoot round. How many can you see, eh? but just to encourage them lay we give them not many just a few handfuls and we chuck it around the floor for them they'll come over and peck at your feet you can see a lot of the young birds oh, there are young layers coming on They're starting to Starting to colour up a little bit in the face, so they've come off of. You can see they're getting corn milled, and some of that's been chitted. Some of it they just scratch it all over the floor. The messy buggers. We're getting a few, a few eggs, not many. That's this morning's. So out of the older hands, like these girls here, some of these are laying. Getting hard to see the difference between them and them now. Well, not for me, but it is. So I don't think we're many weeks off of some of these girls starting to lay. I don't get much. I get four double handfuls just in the morning when I collect the eggs. Plus, I like all my birds nice and friendly. as a cock bird. You see that they're just starting to shape up the young ones. I knew you would the second I took the camera off you. Yeah. So there's a fully grown one. Yeah. And they're just slowly coming together. I don't think it'll be long, maybe overrun with eggs. We've got another load of chits coming. Fourteenth, I think. That's so week after next, I do believe. It's an extra high protein feed to help her. Maybe not to. So we know whether they've got good 
stand and I, but we'll have to do that in a little while. We might not do it at all, probably. Yeah, it's a slightly smaller one there in the middle. Friday morning on the bow grazing. <coughs> we ain't got no bows, we must have took this section load out so we've only got that one so we won't give them that one there until they've completely eaten the rest of the others because <coughs> then they ain't gonna get a bow for a few moves so to move them a little bit more that's probably quite a big move today there's a nice grass here they are hammering it <coughs> hopefully the muck in and the stamping down will sort out some of the moss and the bristly ox tongue. <coughs> Hopefully the grass will recover quicker than them. I think they've gone backwards just a little bit. Not a lot. <coughs> well, maybe they haven't. That's a steer. No he hasn't maybe. Come on, girls, find yourselves. Let me come through. Don't believe what it. Not the one through, just. That's a no, not on the bow. Yeah. Still there as well. Yeah. All fat on him, yeah. Fat on you, though, isn't it? Yeah. other jobs because uh yeah we'll sort that uh, driveway job today <coughs> it's been a bit of a mess for a little while so we can get that done and we've got a bit of concreting out the back of the butchery to do tomorrow we're at st john's church farmers market at sort of whole beach parsons drove out that way um on sunday so not the point of me telling you because time you see this would have been a gone at the market <coughs> but we're generally at a market most weeks and i think there is a link in our website now to where the markets are so you can follow us anyway bert's down doing the calves and checking the cows we're going to get fed up and get round as quick as possible today and uh, get the driveway done put a bit of stone where we're going to concrete and then um hopefully have an easier day Over there, so I don't know. Where they lose them, so they should lay down. Hard to count them. 3, 6, 9, 2, 12, 16. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. We've got a few of them. I'm happy with that. Chances are you could have eaten the other ones or they're under the straw, you'll never find them. Always a job to do, don't they do something like? Ta-da! So everybody, end of another week. Thank you all for following. If you like it, subscribe and push the like button, comment, I always chat back where I can. Finish that bit of cementing yesterday, we're gonna extend that further, so give us a bit more space in what we do. We have a pack house area there and a walk-in fridge there. This area used to be out in the open. We put a bit of a temporary roof on, so we've got to finish that. 
get it all white lined, all up to hygiene standards, and who knows what we'll put in here. We've got a two or three different things we want to do, so we'll see where to go. But yesterday, the wife went up London, take the youngest one out for a day's shopping to spend her birthday money, and she tripped up a curb um, while on a telephone, so don't walk and text, yeah, or <laughs> whatever she was doing. Um, and that was during, I was getting all these messages while I was drawing the competition winners, so sorry, they're a bit blurry and all over the place, but my mind really wasn't with it. Um, she's dislocated or partially dislocated her shoulder, so she's gonna be out of action, I should think, for a while. I've got a torn rotator cuff and I can pretty much do everything with it now. Um, all this is pretty easy. Um, and that's took probably five months. At one point I could hardly move my arm and I couldn't get myself dressed or anything, let alone do much else. I was in the right state and I'm still on light duties. I won't overexert my, my shoulder in there. Um, I do a certain amount of work because I need to keep up keep up the condition of it. So, um, But anyway, thank you for following us. Hope you enjoyed it and let's see what this space would bring. And I still haven't told you what I brought when I went shopping, have I? So um, I can tell you it was free things. Uh, you've seen what the boys brought. He's brought his other Massey, 3090, which he loves. Um, I think he's just gone to get it from mechanic. He's had a couple of jobs done to it. Speakers, Bluetooth radio, all of the all of the stuff that the youngsters put in. So um, then I think he's got a little bit of work to do in the gearbox. That's why he got it reasonably cheap. So it's, um, we didn't get it reasonably cheap. We got it at a good price. So anyway, watch this space, literally space. Yep. And um, hopefully next week, I'll show you what I brought. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thank you and have a good week.